We are on our final match of the night. It is Super JJ versus RDU. They're playing for the final seat in tomorrow's uh, final eight players. They're basically playing for a spot on the money. I believe uh, even eighth place tomorrow walks away with a bit over a thousand bucks. So that's uh, that's not too bad. It's uh, do or die here. No more losers bracket. Everything everything is on the line. Do they have uh, the same yeah. decks? I think they have the same decks. I don't think RDU is playing Shaman. RDU is playing... Um, no, he's playing Priest and Warrior. Um, that's right. So a little bit of a misstep once again. Apologies on that. Um, no worries. It's just uh, the, the thing about the RDU's decks is that they're control-based. Mm -hmm. JJ has a very weird mix of mid-range decks. He's got like... Not even mid-range. Rogue is more like tempo um, and combo. Because uh, he's got like the Violet Teachers and he's also got the Mali Ghosts with the Gadget Sands. Um, ultimately, we'll, we'll see if that Shaman pays off for JJ, because that's, that's the, the opener. Because, because what is this? What is that new card in the center, Crypt? Is that like something called Fire Elemental? It's, it's you basically... You hit face for three damage? <laughs> it's, it, you take, you take face Shaman, you add, like, two Fire Elementals, and they, uh, um, what is it called? Oh, God, I forget. There's a... The totem dude. Oh man, I suck at this. Uh, right Thunder Bluff Valiant. Yeah, Thunder Bluff Valiant. You throw in a Thunder Bluff Valiant, you put in two Fire Elementals, and you call it Hybrid Shaman. Remember when that came? Thing? Uh, yeah, just for a little bit. So. Mm -hmm. yeah. All right. Well, uh, no, no direct turn one play. The only way to answer this trog is to coin wrath it. Maybe you could just pass those so you can keep the coin because then you're stuck hero powering on turn two. Yeah. I think if also, RDU has been following the games, the uh, yeah the, the play is to save the coin. Is This is not the, the typical shaman deck. Man, if you hit the totem golem just now, though, it feels like it. It doesn't matter if it is or isn't. <laughs> if it curves the same way, it's still like Really dangerous stuff. Right. So I guess if you feel comfortable, you can just hero power, uh, save the wrath for later. But I think still using it right now, it's fine. Well, we're gonna see if uh, the RNG is improved here with the Tuscar Totemic. I think Mana Tide would be crazy here, as well as the. Uh, well, Totem Golem is also pretty crazy. That is pretty crazy. The best possible scenario. Ooh, this is such a tough turn for the Druid player. I think, like, the swipe is the best play, but you commit to hero power next turn and play nothing else, which is horrible. Hmm, I wonder. But how can you do much better than that? Well, if you play Farseer, no matter how he trades with the three attack minion, you still have a swipe. So that could also be a follow-up play. Mm -hmm. We know that's going to get horrifically punished, though. Oh yeah, the flame tongue totem is, or or even the Defender Argus is, is much worse. The, like if you Argus the one one and the three four, swipe kills one minion. <laughs> yeah. Also, another thing too. I mean. It depends on uh, what he draws, but both are very powerful ways to trade into it. Hmm. Coin teacher. Pay attention, class. Okay. So is that going to provoke a flame tongue totem? I think Argus is still still better. If you Argus the 3-2 and the 3-4 and just lose the 1-1, one, one, I think that's the best. Here's a really interesting thing. The positioning kind of makes it very awkward because the Totem Golem should be on the far left, but the only way to avoid that was to play Tuscar Totemic in the, to the right of the Totem, which isn't exactly mm -hmm. the greatest thing. My shield so. for Argus. Let's kill it off, use a Totem, completely agree. This is just uh, the best play against Swipe. It's uh, you, could, you could end the, the turn with more stuff on the board, but um, if this stuff doesn't die, you're going to be winning by enough. Yeah, makes a lot of sense. Forest here to heal yourself is your only play, but now uh, you can trade, get a pretty big board advantage, and all of a sudden, mid-range Shaman 
is in a very good position against the Druid. This is what you normally are accustomed to uh, back in the olden days because Shaman was able to grab some really powerful tempo, and no matter what minion you play, like Ancient of War, if it got hexed, that almost was like the equivalent of Big Game Hunter or Black Knight status. Yeah. Just, you're so far behind on the swing. Uh, Druid of the Claw is uh, is a pretty good card as as far as the Druid is concerned, but the uh, Super JJ and his Shaman has have great answers here. Yeah, you don't even anything. you don't even hex that. I think it's just Flame Tongue, Flame Tongue and uh, Fire, Fire Guard Destroyer. Yeah, you probably That's trade so in much stats. the you probably trade in the four three because the Lightning Bolt is also pretty devastating. So you want the Azure Drake to survive. Mm -hmm. Where this I, I mean this is exactly what Shaman used to do once upon a time. I mean, you don't even have to use Flame Tongue. You can just play Far Guard Destroyer, Lightning Bolt, trade the Argus in, and then just keep a reasonable sized board. Mm -hmm. And then next turn, you still have, like, lethal, I think. <laughs> uh, maybe. I, I think I, I think I might have to count, recount, but I think that's lethal because you have Flame Tongue Totems, uh, and that'll be at least 14 damage, so... Looks like he wants to go with an Azure Drake over the Fire Guard. It's a little bit more mana efficient. Uh, it's more mana efficient, yeah. A little bit less damage potentially, though. Let's just assume that Fire Guard Destroyer rolled a 1. Mm -hmm. And I guess uh, in JJ's book, he can play Fl Fire Guard Destroyer and Flame Tongue next turn, anyways. So. But this is a pretty bad spot, and I'm. I think that might be it for RDU's game here. Um, yeah. picks, plays the Azure Drake, picks up the Living Roots, which means he's a lot. Yep, yeah, he does seem uh, he does seem barely alive. You get him to one. Yeah, but. Uh, you know, it's not even really the fact that that wand. It's just he can't even fight back onto the board. Mm -hmm. Dude, mid-range shaman. It's easy bring game. it back. I, I thought Justin Timberlake was more likely to bring mid-range shaman back before we see it in a competitive tournament in Hearthstone. All right. <laughs> uh, well, he loses to the board, so this is just RD's version of conceding. Yeah. Fire Elemental as the victory cigar. That's gonna wrap up the game. So, uh, you know, starting it off, I think that went exactly yeah. the way he wanted to. He tried to catch the druid, and he was trying to make sure that um, as the when as the druids start off, it's a very clean way to to begin the the series. And so, if you're able to use that uh, and catch it with a quick win, it it works perfectly. I think it actually catch the other decks very well as well. Um, I mean, the strength of the shaman is that the the like the win more factor is just so out of this world that if it just starts winning against the druid, it's just going to continue winning against the priest. It's going to continue winning against the warrior. It's going to continue winning. There's no stopping that 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 factor. I think he just threw the shaman out there to get a quick win, honestly. Quick win indeed. That lasted till turn six or seven or so. Mm -hmm. So I mean, that really wasn't <laughs> a, a, a very close game at all. It was super one-sided. Going to game number two. JJ is on the rogue against the warrior, and this time he's got some interesting choices. Um, if he wants to keep the Thanos, the Pillager and the Drake are also pretty decent considering Death Spites are out of the equation. Four mm -hmm. health minions seem to be giving the Warrior a lot of fits outside of the occasional um, brand bronze beard. Alex draws a champion combo. We've also noticed that a lot of the, the minions... <laughs> that's pretty funny. I was, was going to comment on the sap, which he mulliganed away and redrew in the exact same slot. Um... I was going to comment that a lot of the minions played by these dragon decks are battle cry based, which is why we see Bran in the decks. So sapping just in general has uh, a lot less value than it would otherwise against other decks. 
It's true. Um, something to consider in the following terms. So, All right. pass. The champion's gonna do six damage, and Van Bronzebeard takes some pretty proactive stance onto the board. Not really a convenient way to deal with it. No eviscerate. Mm. He can, uh, if he wants to be very aggressive, he could uh, deadly poison the 3 3 and sap the brand. Uh, you're right, to climb back onto the board. For now, maybe you just stick with. Preserving Bran, and then you play the cool Taskmaster and trade into it. There's no other. There's no other way to clear that and keep your Bran. What now? So, well, if something goes bad, you can always um, you can always use your Blackwing Corruptor next turn. You could just face here. I wouldn't mind face face. Nine. Yeah. It does feel like giving the coin to the rogue on their turn is a little bit dangerous, but mm -hmm. seems to be what he chooses. Violet Teacher, coin, deadly poison is a play that sticks out to me. There's no weapon for Harrison, nor is there any prep for Azure Drake if you were to coin it out, so still can't kill. The brand bronze beard, the four yeah. health, and that brand being in play uh, is going to make the violet teacher fall immediately. But uh, it's still going to set up some decent trades for the rogue on the following turn because of the one-one apprentices. Yes, and you'll have deadly poison up. It gives you the opportunity to kill the brand the following oh. turn. Um, and your opponent, you have more cards than your opponent, so if you can continue the card draws with the cycle oh, stuff of Fan and Drake. Uh, you have an opportunity to, you know, eventually drain the the warrior out of resources. JJ chooses instead to use Phantom Knights. He really wants to kill Bran. He's he's just tired of it. He doesn't want him to draw anything with the Azure Drake or get any benefit off of it because he thinks maybe if he pl plays like a Twilight Guardian of some kind, he's just toast. Mm -hmm. Well, these are very good instincts. I mean, seeing both hands, that is that is the absolute best play he could have made. Yep. Hard call, but good read. I mean, Super JJ went on one of the hottest streaks of um, recent memory when he was able to win Seed Story Cup, followed by uh, doing well in online tournaments, and then even um, going really far in the True Silver Champions tournaments as well. We could see a sick Violet Teacher combo here with the coin shiv and then prep sap on the Azure Drake. Yep, and without Whirlwind cards... No death spites, no whirlwind itself in the dragon warrior deck. It's going to be very effective. Could shiv again to not sap, but it looks like the sap was. No, I like that a lot. You draw, um, and you get to keep the sap, which is more important for the tempo, I think. Mm -hmm. Although, you <laughs> man, Rogue took a lot of damage in this process. Imagine if it did end up going face, like you were saying. The seven damage. There is a kill on the Violet Teacher here with the Shield Slam for two and uh, uh, Corruptor for three. But I wonder if that's uh, the best play. Looks pretty good. Yeah, I'm, I'm trying to evaluate if there's another way you can do it, but I don't think uh, it's reasonable. Because if you use Fiery War Axe, it commits too much of your mana elsewhere. Mm -hmm. uh, that, is, that might be the best. What now? Artie, you might have been a little bit too like uh, aggressive, and that Fan and Knives play with like the Bio Teacher follow up has been super powerful for Super JJ. Oh, well, there's Malagos. Emperor and a board clear. With the four tokens, that is such a big deal. Yeah, but uh, well, the warrior has another answer here. Now it's time for the fiery war axe and the next blackwing corruptor. Right, 
But getting Maligos down for 8 is pretty good. Now you can almost combine it with any spell and get guaranteed value the moment you want to play it, assuming it drags out that long. Also, Harrison Jones lands on this weapon. You know that by now, this is probably the only weapon in their deck, considering that they don't run Gore Howl or King's Defender. Or Ogre Warmall. Sap. Wow. And yeah, it's going to really sap and essentially up. set up for a giant Maligos next turn. Yeah, Mally goes backstab again, a really good opportunity to grab the board. Well, let's see what is drawn here from RDU. Varian Wren, another a card that's, again, you know, G2's had some um, strokes of brilliance and also some cards that's whiffed. That's definitely been one of them. <laughs> I wield the power. All right, well, it looks to me like the Malagos preceding the Onyxia is going to be a bit too much. Well, uh, he's going to oh, play the, go the two drakes with the four backstab. Uh, oh, but the prep. Super. That is perfect. Yeah. Oh, my goodness. Super so he's got not plus to attack seven. You. So the blade flare will do eight damage? It actually kills Anixia with all the whelps. <laughs> oh, this is going to be awesome. Oh, man. It's going to be so fun. Because RDU and JJ are also good friends. They practice each other a lot. Um, they both belong to a, a group of players who like to trained together called the Salt Boys, and it's great because uh, they're very what competitive now? amongst each other, so it'd be really funny if you choose to go for a Nixia play, only to get it. Mally goes Blade Flurried. Oh, man. That's 8 damage plus the 13 on board. It's 21. It's a lot. What now? Fire Warax doesn't do anything. Emperor doesn't do anything. I mean, I think you gotta, you, you're almost forced to go into the Anixia to try to fight back on board, right? You already use one fan. Yeah, there's, there's no question about it. All right. No all right, reservations ready. against this play at My all. My body is ready, Crypt. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Turbo Wrecked. That's what it looks like, guys. Whenever someone says Tyrannosaurus Rex, this is what they're referring to. Yeah, that check mark was because of this play. <laughs> they you saw it in the future. <laughs> oh, oh man. my! Should... This is completely over. Uh, yeah, not not even Barry and Rin can save you now. <laughs> no. <laughs> oh, you mean he doesn't have Gromash and two Kirkron elites to get lethal off of Barry and Rin, like 0.03 percent chance? That'd be pretty surprising. I'm I'm that surprised was... you didn't go for that. Oh, well. <laughs> 2 0. Right. Super JJ with a mid range shaman win, followed by a rogue. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, he's got the druid left. Uh, I think his druid was, again, standard. I think we've seen very, very little innovation on druid. I think the only druid deck that sticks out in my mind is actually Strife Crows, who had the Violet Teacher inclusions. No, I've seen that in a few decks. Just yeah, the G2 guys have that as well, I believe. G2 guys? Okay. Yep. Which um, is a cool variation of it. It is a cool variation. But uh, the only time we've seen this, I believe, when Druid was held for last, I think was uh, in Zelay's situation when he was up 2 0 with Druid behind and he actually ended up getting reverse swept. Mm -hmm. Yeah, um, the reverse sweep was pretty brutal, uh, especially when it's against Life Coach because. It's grueling. You know, it's, it's like you, you slowly <laughs> descend into the abyss. You're, fl <laughs> you're floating on cloud nine, and then uh, yeah. you're just like, oh, God. Oh, no, I'm losing. Oh, no, it's happening. Oh, I'm dead. Yeah. 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 Okay, well, it is going to be a Druid Mirror here. Um, I believe that BGH is on Super JJ's side, and I believe there is no minion in the entire deck of RDU that, that can actually work off of that. I think that is strictly an unstealth jungle panther, as you put it. Um, yeah, I guess so. I'm trying to think if there's any possibility of some weird thing, but you're pretty much right. There's no way you can buff this attack, uh, and there's no way you can pull a minion that's uh, not from the deck or the game here. So, yeah, JJ's going to start a little bit slow. RDU has coin and the innervate, but no minions to play. So he's stuck hero powering as well. I have seen players on uh, in, in some arena games innervate swipe face. 
I think that's, oh, yeah? that's a play to consider here. Do they do they work work out well for them? No, it does not. Wait, work. What's their score usually by the end of that run? <laughs> um, it usually doesn't hit up the integers. <laughs> Just stops where wherever they they started. Yeah. Yeah. The wild wild looks very pretty nice. good. Yeah, it starts off the curve. I mean, uh, you see the five, six, and seven, and a few utility cards in between. Uh, he won't have to rely on one of the utility cards working. Now that you know your opponent wild growth, does that incentivize you to play Azure Drake with an innervate so that way you can answer whatever comes out? What? I like that a lot. You have the swipe with spell damage. You have the uh, the wrath with spell damage. And if you do get if you do get swiped yourself, which is certainly a possibility, um, it's it's being done on five mana, so it's an inefficient swipe. Makes a lot of sense here. Well, that's just going to provoke JJ to swipe right back and say, I'm not going to develop a minion. You know, you're know, you just going to have to deal with... Prove to me that you can play another five-mana minion, which... Well, uh, he can. The case. That's a good draw. And uh, I don't believe there's, we're going to see much in terms of... Uh, I mean, I think we're going to see Super GG make another like th three-second turn with Emperor. Hmm. <laughs> yeah, and then that gives him a lot of uh, firepower if he can Where continue to uh, get another good series of draws. Uh, the, the cards that he reduces in, in cost is not the biggest deal, though. It's not like he's reducing a lot of spells to give him some bo good, good board tempo. I'm curious why the game is letting him end the turn without the rope flashing across the screen. Yeah, it's kind of a, a, a new feature. You are allowed to end the turn before the rope starts to burn. It's a recent patch, though. All right. Well, wrath uh, is is required there, but it basically uh, forces RDU to skip his his fifth turn. Very, very uh, sad. Really, you can't do much. <laughs> yeah, certainly. And you know the fact that you can commandly seize the board like this. Without a Black Knight in response, pretty tough. Two Force of Natures and a Savage Roar. Not very pretty, and you just have yeah. to do whatever you can to start staying alive. And here we're going to see the uh, the Ancient Allure pull a few more cards out of the deck with the Raptor. If one of those cards is uh, Force of Nature. We're going to see a pretty devastating combo next turn. Didn't get it, but he still has one more opportunity next turn. Would that be lethal? That that would be 14, 20... That'd be 29. That's ex he has 29 damage with a Force of Nature top deck. Jeez. It's a lot. Uh, now, already has 39 health, but... Yeah. I mean, that, that won't stop him from just playing another Ancient of Lore. Just really start stacking it on. At least I don't think it will stop him. Maybe he feels like he'd rather spend his turn Savage Roaring anyways. Wrath. Uh, oh, Young Priestess. I wonder if that's going to have a significant impact here. I wonder what significant impact uh, the chat was under by drawing second. I have seen that uh, viewers are often triggered by this. <laughs> In, in some cases, it's just, for them, a sign of technical play or not. Mm -hmm. All good in the hood. Well, RDU keeps uh, getting taunts and stuff, but... Hmm. Now, swipe is decent. Yeah, swipe, swipe is okay. Um... With the Keeper of the Grove, if you want to kill off this Ancient of Lore. Mm -hmm. mm, is there an alternative? Are, are you like feeling a Ragnaros and just kind of crossing your eyes? A Ragnaros, hope it, ho hope it goes face into that. Your opponent has no extra damage. <laughs> uh, that's, that's, that's one way. But the best... The best thing that could happen is if he plays Ragnaros, it kills the Raptor, and out comes a Dust Devil for lethal. <laughs> oh, let's go! Yep. 
Ragnaros is hitting the board. Ragnaros has to hit either 5 5 for the face. Um, well, no, there's no I guess that draws some here. firepower away. 5 10, 13. No, yeah, it's, not, it's not quite there. Um, a Savage Roar would do it. And two chances yes. to draw one. If he gets an Innervate, he can try again with a Wild Growth Redraw. So there's there's some chances here. Oh my. Ooh, he's avoiding very safe possibility play. of uh, Force of Nature Savage Roar killing him. And now... Oh, very good play. I didn't even consider that. Very yeah. good stuff from Super JJ. That was really good. And now Swipe's not effective. And... Now you might use Force Nature Savage Roar to clear, but that's not even very efficient because of all the... A little annoying things like a five five and three three. Mm. I wonder. Um, it has to be swipe on the two three, taunt up Drew the Claw, and hope that Ragnaros kills a five attack uh, minion. And that, that would actually prevent from the hand. Yeah. Okay, so you yes, swipe the two three. It does. He has 13 power on board, you kill it. He has 8. 13, yeah. That that would keep him alive. Just it is, it is going to be a 50-50 on Ragnaros for, to stay alive. Yes. Given the 50-50 off Ragnaros, which you know, obviously is, is never a given. The Fire Lord chooses his own way of doing things. Okay. Well, so far it's gone. It hasn't gone exactly where he's wanted it to. No, oh, oh. it does. He hits the higher health one. Oh wait, hold on. That's it. That's no, lethal. That's, that's, yeah, that's gonna do it. Wrath and the hero power. That's six damage on the uh, on the bear, and that's eight face. That's one over lethal. Super JJ is gonna sweep RDU, and RDU is gonna be the first player from G2 not to move on to the second stage. But still a very good showing. Very impressive preparation from their team. Yeah, job well done uh, overall to Super JJ, another really underrated player um, by many people. You know, people don't really think of top players and think like Super JJ. They just look at some of the players that are pretty established, but he's on a hot streak and he's done really well in a lot of the tournaments that he's entered so far. Um, definitely a player to, to watch out for on the final day. So uh, we're done, guys. Thank you so much for everybody who tuned in for day number two. Uh, it's been a long process. Tomorrow we're going to start again at the same time at 11 p.m. Pacific. Uh, in the interest of time and to wrap up the VOD pretty neatly, Crypt, do you have any final words you want to say? Mm, not too much. Should be pretty exciting. All the players are going to group up. We've seen actually, you know, kind of to reflect back on today and yesterday, we've seen fairly, um, fairly different decks on each of the days we saw a lot of rogue and we saw a lot of uh, a lot of warrior on the first day so it'll be kind of interesting to see how they'll match up against each other and uh yeah see who comes up on top that's right guys it's gonna be really fun tomorrow we find out who gets their share of 30k split across uh the first edition of this standard format uh big shout out to curse as well as uh team archon and uh moz for organizing the event uh, we also want to give a shout out to hearthpone.com. Uh, we've been mentioning all broadcast long, innkeeper.com, and the, the link of geekfield.com slash team archon. We mentioned uh, that they're also partnering with us for the event. You can check out all the cool stuff that they have over there uh, with their packages. Tune in tomorrow for 11 a.m. PST for the top eight. Uh, until then, this is Frodan Crypt signing out. <laughs>